you hey guys, Misty here from the Jolly Foot Elf. Welcome back to my second day in my floral week. <laughs> Still figured out what to call it. Today I'm going to be doing some coloring, some die cutting, and I'm going to be using the Falling Flowers and the May Flowers um, bundle. And then I'm, I don't know if it's still a bundle on the catalog, but they go together. And then the flour Flourishing Phrases. I may use the sentiment, but I'm most definitely using the Flourish from the Thin Lit Dyes. From the flowers, I am using the largest flower, the kind of star flower, and these kind of filler flowers, and they're coordinating, um, coordinating dies. For designer series paper, I'm using a piece of the Petal Passion, and then this piece of the Tutti Frutti. I haven't quite made it further than that. Like, that's kind of where I stopped. I am gonna be coloring my flowers today using alcohol markers. I'm using the Daffodil Delight blends, the Bermuda Bay blends, and then from my Spectrum Noors, I'm using BP6 and BP7. This is a very bright pink. This is almost, almost phony on Friday but it's on a Wednesday. So I'm gonna start by stamping my flowers. Now on these, you can see that they have a little tick mark that denotes which way is up. So I'm gonna put a little arrow on my piece of paper. That way I remember which way is up. I'm gonna stamp all these. I'm not gonna do any like fancy blending, but I did want some contrast. So I'm gonna do probably three big flowers and then maybe two little and I don't know how many fillers. I'm just gonna make a really large bouquet.
So now that all my flowers are colored, I'm going to decide that I really don't want to cut them out using the coordinating dies because of the white border. So I decided just to cut them all out with my paper schnitz and then I um, size up that flower and decide it's not worth it to cut it out by hand. So here I'm taking a piece of lemon lime twist cardstock and I am backing it with our adhesive sheet so I can use that to cut out this flourish. Um, the flourish isn't that delicate, but you guys know these types of die cuts are not always fun to adhere. So it's just easier to do this and I ran it through my Big Shot using the precision base plate. And I go ahead and spend um, a little bit of time getting out the little pieces with my Big Shot die cut. Big Shot die brush, <laughs> die cutting brush. No, it's a die cut brush. So here I'm just going to lay out um, everything that, you know, that's what it looks like in my head. And this is where I decide that the polka dots with the stripe is just too much, but I still want the polka dots. So I start out by using a slight smoky slate marker um, to color, and then I decide I want it darker. So I bring in my dark smoky slate and color in these, this background pattern. This allows me to still have the two contrasting patterns, but as we talked about before, um, you know, this is more of a, they're both kind of bold. So the two of them together was just too much. After doing that, I'm going to go ahead and go around each of the thing, um, flowers I cut with my black marker. Now it's time to adhere. I'm going to go ahead and adhere these two card, um, excuse me, paper layers together using my um, liquid glue. I've mentioned lately that I've really been into liquid glue because I can move the paper around just like it did right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel the backer sheet off my flourish and get that adhered to the middle of my striped pattern. I really love these colors together. As you guys know I love this faux neon look. So now I'm going to go ahead and arrange the flowers the way I want, excuse me, the way that I want them. I'm gonna adhere some of them flat down and I'm gonna adhere others with one layer of dimensionals and some with two layers of dimensionals. So I just really love this card. I decided against the sentiment just because I could use this for a birthday card. I can use this for um, a friend just, you know, just saying hello. I could use this for an anniversary card. So this is one of those universal designs that you can keep in your stash and then when you're ready, you can add a sentiment right there on the bottom or even to the inside. So my um, dimensional was poking out a little bit and then I was looking to make sure everything was adhered well and I realized I needed a um, dimensional right there underneath that pink flower. I really, 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 really love how this card turned out. Um, I feel like yesterday's card was amazing and today's card is equally amazing. So for my card base, I'm going to take this piece of basic gray, excuse me, basic gray. I'm going to cut it in half at four and a quarter, just quarter it in at five and a half. And then once I fold it over, I'm going to insert the white, whisper white card layer um, using liquid glue. And again, all of the measurements will be over on the blog. Just click on print recipe. I decided to go ahead and uh, um, adhere this flat. I debated on ribbon. And like I mentioned, I just wanted a card that this will actually be easily mailed. Um, you know, I can slap a sentiment on if I want to and get it in the mail. And that's what's, what's exciting to me. So it wasn't quite finished. I want to go ahead and um, cut off the excess. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring in the glitter enamel dots. Um, Luckily, the colors pretty much match, and initially I was just going to add some at the top and the bottom, and then I decided that I wanted to go ahead and add them to the center of the flowers, and I have pink and I have yellow, but there isn't a Bermuda Bay color, so I brought in the dark Bermuda Bay blend, I believe it was the dark blend, and I colored, no, it must be the light. Yeah, the light and I colored several of the glitter enamel dots um, so that they matched the Bermuda Bay and not I think I want to say this is like Pacific Point it's more of a true blue rather than a green blue and then I decided that I didn't want that green dot on the bottom left oh first Wink Stella this is no surprise I put Wink Stella on all the flowers all of them so pretty and then this is where I decide to go ahead and add or try to add um, Bermuda Bay to the green, but the green is just too dark. So I'm going to um, 
take that off color another dot and add it on there and that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this card sorry for the vo voiceover but this took a lot of work and i was listening to dirty dancing soundtrack while i did it so <laughs> thanks guys i will see you tomorrow bye for now <laughs>